bull giraffe is about 18 feet tall. In order to get blood up that long skinny neck against gravity, the bull giraffe has to have a powerful pump, and that's his heart. And the heart of a bull giraffe can be as much as two and a half feet long. Big, powerful pump. Now, as he's going along here, living his life, everything's just fine, but all of a sudden, this 18 foot tall creature decides, I need a drink of water. So he bends his head down to get a drink of water. Now we have a problem. Because now this powerful pump, instead of pumping against gravity, is pumping with gravity. And so the heart gives a mighty squeeze and the blood shoots down his neck, hits his brain and bursts his brain. And so now he just blew his brains out, okay? So he's dying and he must be thinking to himself, I need to evolve something here to take care of my problem. When I get a drink of water, I blow my brains out. Of course, we know dead creatures don't evolve, but he doesn't blow his brains out because as he bends his head down, there are like little spigots in his artery that goes up the neck, little valves, and they close. But the last pump is beyond the last valve. And so it's enough to burst the little arterioles in his brain, but it doesn't go into his brain. The last pump kind of goes whoop underneath the brain into like a sponge. And this sponge just gently expands and he hasn't blown his brains out and he gets his drink of water. And now he sees a zebra kind of running up from this side and he just ignores it. But he sees a lion coming up from this side. Oh, the lion wants to eat me, I gotta get out of here. Now, how does he know the difference, by the way? Evolutionists can't explain that to us, but the fact is, here comes this lion, he's going to eat the giraffe. And so the giraffe uh, jumps up, he runs about five steps, passes out. Not enough oxygen to his brain. While he's there, passed out. The lion is eating him. Uh, he must be thinking, I, I need to evolve something here. I got this problem. I pass out when I get up too fast. And, but he doesn't, of course. Well, why? Well, because God made him so that when he begins to bring his head up, the little spigots, the little valves in the artery uh, open. The sponge under the brain gently squeezes that last little pump of oxygenated blood up into his brain. There are little valves in the vein that goes down the neck. They close. And by the time he's up and running, Everything is fine, his blood pressure is fine, and he does just fine. Well, how would that evolve? He needs all of those parts, all there, all at the same time, all at once, or he's dead. And so I think the giraffe is another example of a designer. He needed a designer to design him just like he is.